Hi everyone, it's The Tectonic and finally I've got my Google Nexus 4. It just arrived via uh, Courier and I've been looking forward to this phone so 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 much. You know, ever since The Verge posted their uh, unveil by, by Google of the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10, I immediately jumped onto the Play Store and registered my interests and finally I have one. Um, first thing I want to say though is how disappointed I was in uh, the way that Google operated the, the launch of the Nexus 4. You know, I, I went onto the Google Play Store and I registered uh, my email address almost immediately as soon as I could. Um, but then come the 13th of November, uh, as soon as I jumped on, as soon as I got the email notification saying that it was available for sale, by the time I got online, you know, it had already sold out. You know, I, I have a life, I have a job, so I can't constantly be on the Play Store pressing S5, uh, F5 like some people, and so I missed out. Um, so instead I've got the phone through O2 in the UK uh, for 399 which is admittedly more than Google was selling it for, but, you know, for me, 400 is uh, a price that I'm willing to pay for the phone. I sold my Samsung Galaxy S3 to get this, um, so that softens the, the hit uh, slightly, um, and I also didn't want to line some some guy on eBay's pockets um, who was you know who the, they were selling for overinflated prices. So that's my rant over. Uh, I just want to just let's just quickly do the unboxing then. Um, I'm sure you've seen a million of these before, but let's just open up the box anyway. You see, I had my knife ready as well. Everything laid out. I was literally sitting on my sofa, supposedly doing work, I was working from home, um, waiting for the, the, the post to arrive, and there it is, ah, oh, so gorgeous, oh, it feels so nice, you know, you've seen so, so many videos of this online, on YouTube, so many unboxings, and when it finally gets here, you know, and you, you hold it in your hand, it, it feels so nice, it, very very solid not one creak out of this it's about the the right weight actually i've i've noted some some reviews have said it's probably a bit too light um but it it, it feels the right sort of weight in my hand um you know gorgeous glass front and back display um coated in in, in gorilla glass uh, with the front housing the 4.7 inch 1280 by 768 IPS display. Um, so you've got your headphone jack at the top and the noise cancelling microphone, the power lock button on the right hand side, nothing else there. On the bottom you've got your, I don't know if you can, oh, this camera's not very good at focusing in on macro things, but two screws and your micro SD, um, sorry your, your uh, micro USD charging port and your mic and on the left you've got your uh, micro SIM slot as well as your volume rocker it does feel wonderful it feels so nice on the f on your hand and the sides are a bit more slippery than I thought you know I'd, I'd read quite a lot about it being um, sort of a rubbery latex finish on the side um, it, it and it's probably not as grippy as I thought, um, but still certainly grippier than, than the glass front. And on the back, you know, everybody's talked about this. Uh, let, let, let's get this off and see if we can see that any better. So everyone's talked about the, um, the effect on the back, and it, it is very subtle. Um, I'm not sure what to make of it yet. It's sort of holographic, ma matrix, matrixy. Um, it's nice, I mean, at certain angles you can't see it, as I'm sure everybody's said uh, before, but yeah, it's okay, it's nice. It, I, I definitely prefer the, the look at the front of the phone a lot more, and that's fine by me, because I'll, I'll be looking at the front when I'm using it anyway. Um, so let's, let's see what we can do in terms of booting this guy up. So also in the box, while that's happening, is your instruction manual. Uh, charging lead and your uh, power socket 
Uh, like I said, I got this phone from O2, and the guy that the guy I spoke to on the phone when I was ordering it was adamant that uh, it was locked to O2, and he even said, "Well, you can't unlock it uh, until a year afterwards uh, with O2 if you buy it through O2." Um, but he did say, "Well, you can go you can go through various other methods or unofficial methods um, to unlock the phone." Um, what I'm going to do now is test this out because uh, as far as I'm aware this is unlocked uh, despite what O2 say so I'm going to put my Vodafone SIM card in and uh, let you guys see what happens okay so I've just quickly set this up on my Wi-Fi and set up my Google Mail account as my Google account on this as well I've put my Vodafone SIM card in and as you can see um, or not depending on how my camera focuses I do have network and I've got uh, a data connection as well um, so um, so as far as O2 are concerned um, I'm not sure whether the the guys from above were telling their people to tell people that it was locked to O2 but that's certainly not the case for me uh, I can't speak for every other Nexus 4 out there but it certainly works with my Vodafone SIM card um, just one other thing the pattern on the back is starting to grow on me a little bit more uh, after looking at it uh, uh, for a second time it uh, when it catches the light right uh, you get this cool holographic effect and it, it the the Nexus logo and the camera almost seem to be floating um, sort of on top of the pattern so it gives the back a, a bit of depth uh, which I, which I do like and it, and it is very subtle as well in case you didn't like it um, as you can see Vodafone UK and there we are so I'll carry on with the setting up and the one reason why I was so excited for the Nexus 4 was um, basically I I've always been a fan of Android um, and with each iteration of Android the operating system has get, been getting smoother and better and and looking so much more modern and sleeker than, than, I, than iOS which has pretty much stayed static in terms of its looks but in terms of hardware um, the Nexus phones seem to have been taking steps back ever since the original Nexus 1. You know, Nexus 1 had very good build quality, um, I thought. Um, and then you had the Galaxy S, which is a bit more plasticky, and then, uh, then the, the Galaxy Nexus after that, which was even more plasticky. And finally, you know, we've got a phone with the operating system that Google should be. You know, there's more work to do, but there's no doubt in my mind that it's 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 getting there it's so close now in terms of uh, getting close to iOS's smoothness and the, the sort of the, the premium feel of the OS and now we've got the hardware to match it and that was why I was so excited for the Nexus 4 and I'm so looking forward to using it I you know I I gave up my Samsung Galaxy S3 for this which was also uh, a very good phone um, and from what I can see, oh, it's so smooth. There is it's just not a hint of lag whatsoever. How do I get rid of that? There we are. And you've got your widgets. So, um, I will use this phone um, for the rest of today um, and give you my thoughts at the end of the day. Um, one thing to note is that it comes with a, you, you can't see on this camera, but it comes with a full battery charge. So I've, I've read, um, oh, I've not, I've not peeled off the front cover. Actually, in all that excitement. There we are. Oh, wow. It feels so smooth, the glass. I mean, it, my phone literally just slides across. It feels ever so smooth. It, it really is very, very nice indeed. Um, yeah, a lot of people have said that the, the glass sort of melts, uh, some curves over the side of the phone. You can't really see it on this video. Um, but you're right. I mean, it, it's, it's not a big deal. A lot of people have said a lot about it. All it means is that it's slightly more comfortable when you slide your thumb from the phone's edges. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to using this. Um, I think it's the Nexus phone that we've all been waiting for. Um, looking forward to trying out things like Photosphere and the allegedly 
improved camera from the original Galaxy uh, Nexus. I might as well just try it out quickly. Yeah, it's it's a bit slow because of the flash, uh, so let's just turn that off. I'm liking this uh, new menu system here. It's it's very intuitive. Um, okay, so let's just take some shots. It's admittedly not as fast as my Galaxy uh, my ne uh, Galaxy S3 in terms of speed. Um, it, but it's certainly a step up from um, sort of Galaxy Nexus in terms of quality. So there you, there you are folks, I mean uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've, I've given you some perspective on this phone that, that some of the other unboxings haven't. Um, I'll use this for the rest of the day and post my thoughts later. I said I'd leave it there but I've just been playing around with it and the, the screen is excellent, you know. 320 ppi and uh, I would say in comparison to the Galaxy S3 which also had a very good screen um, and a very high ppi uh, density this actually exceeds it and you can't see any pixels whatsoever um, it's it's a fantastic display um, just one thing to note is that I've plugged in the, the phone to charge um, for a, for a while, and that the back is warming up slightly. I know there have been issues with people sort of reporting their Nexus 4s getting very hot in the certain conditions, um, so I'll be interested to see how that pans out. Okay, uh, right folks, I really need to get to work now because I was working from home this morning waiting for this bad boy to be delivered. Um, catch you guys.